Hello, welcome student. Today we are going to continue our chapter number 7 that is MS Word uh, document formatting. First part I have uploaded, uploaded in this uh, our Google Classroom. If you have any problem, you can comment in our Google Classroom and we can communicate each other in that. And if you have any other more problem, then I will clarify in a later video. So next one is let me open this chapter first. I think we have to do this. Paragraph formatting we have done. Right align Indian. We have done. Adjusting line spacing. This one we have to do. I'll teach you practically using our last time. This is our document. I'll teach you and demonstrate our adjusting line spacing by using this document. In line spacing, you have to go to home tab and this is the one. Line and paragraph spacing. With the name itself, we get the point that we are going to adjust the line gap between the lines and paragraph. For this, you have to select the particular lines or paragraph or all of them for fixing the spacing between lines and paragraph. If you want to fix only this part, then you have to select it like this for selection of text or paragraph. There are others way. The one which I have done is select and drag the mouse. After selecting it, go to this line and paragraph spacing. Click on that and these are predefined number. Look here the changes 0 0.1, 0 0.1.5, uh, 1 1.15, 1 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3. Like this, look at the changes in the background. Like this, you can change according to your choice. According to your needs, you can change here. And more option also, it's available here. Line spacing, more option. After 10 points or before how many points you want to add. Look here, the changes in the preview. If you want this, let's say 12. Okay, look here. Only the previous one will change. Line spacing option before. So let me select this one at zero and after also zero. Let's see the changes. Look here. After this paragraph, starting of the new paragraph, it's becoming there is no spacing between them. So, like that, let's give this as 10. There is no 10. You can directly type from the keyboard like that. Like this, 10 point gap is there. So, like this, between the line, also you can set here, and between the paragraph, also you can remove some space by clicking on this one and by clicking on this one, also add space between the paragraph and all. Let me select this one again, remove. Look here, look the changes I made. Add space. No, no, no. Add space. Add space. Add space. I've already added enough space. That's why, like this, with your needs, you can adjust the line spacing, line gap between each and every line, and paragraph gap between each and every line. Next one is display hidden characters in your document. When you go to the home tab, this hide and show the hidden formatting symbol. Other hidden formatting symbol, you can click on this one at the end of every paragraph or line, it will indicate this symbol if you press this one. So or hide, you can check it. 
you have all the hidden symbol between this it's showing everything dot look here I'll click on again pitch height now I'll show you when I click on this one all the hidden symbol is showed in our document like this this is the end of the paragraph these are enter end of the paragraph the dot which I have kept which we have not seen between the lines also it's been shown so if you don't want this type of characters between your words then you can remove it by clicking on again the symbol so in height now next one is page formatting now I have already told you before before starting your document or typing anything you have to start uh, first set up your page page margin paper size and all so here we are going to learn this one we already learned adjusting the page margin top margin right margin left margin and bottom margin how much gap from the border of the page you want to keep it so in the view button you can change the one which i view is this print layout view if you keep in read mode then you cannot say a particular margin where is the margin and you cannot see the particular margin how much gap did you have from the border so it's better to keep this uh, keep this in print layout format and you can set the margin gap between gap from the border for setting up that one go to page layout tab go to this margin option margin option these are pre-designed pre-designed margin all the numbers centimeters and all it's all given normal narrow moderate wide and mirror when you want a custom design then you can select this one custom margin and on the top if you want to leave it for two centimeter you can directly click on this you can directly select like this and type it from keyboard or you can click on this up and down button and you can change the number after setting your requirement over here and press that ok button this is a two centimeter gap which is from the border so like this you can change the margin that is left right or bottom top for this paste layout tab and go to that margin but first before starting or typing your document if you set this margin and everything before doing it it's better to do before typing your document and another one is also there that is using mirror margin if you have multiple pages so let's change this one two point five Let me make it a little bigger. 2.5. So how many pages we have? I have three pages. Custom margin. Look here. Multiple page mirror margin. Normal one. Look here. In normal margin. You can set as a normal margin here. If you have multiple pages, you can set this one. Mirror margin. Mirror margin is typically used to a designated page layout that will eventually be a two sided one. If it is a two sided page that you are going to print it in the back side of the page also then it's better to use this mirror margin if you are going to print it at the back side means two sided page you are going to print your document in the back side of your page also then it's better to set this mirror margin so at the back side of the page also you keep the same margin
So in that time, it's useful. This is mirror margin. Next one is setting up the size of the paper and source and orientation of the page. This one also I, I think I have done in previous uh, chapter and starting of this chapter. So before starting your typing, before starting your document or if you are, you have to first set up your Now we have to select the paper size. For selecting the paper size, there are different type of pages. We have to go to the page layout and this page setup group. Go to the size and there are these are predefined sizes, which are available in market. The most common one is A4 size. It's been generally used in school, office, and other institution and all. A4 size paper, which are mainly used for this Xerox purpose and all, copy, carbon copy for making copy of our paper. Now, if you scroll it down, there are different type of sizes, and if your requirement is not in here in the list, then you can make your own requirement. Go to that more page paper size, and you can type your required wide and height of the paper and you can click on this ok for time being i'm going to select this a4 size paper and this orientation means rectangular format which we usually which we usually use it uh, in a rectangular form in or in a portrait mode the length and height is more than the white and if you are using this landscape mode the white is more than the height of the paper usually we are going to use this or the uh, portrait uh, this landscape mode like uh, timetable or preparing schedule and all with your requirement you can use anyone you want in maybe in landscape mode or portrait mode for timing right now i'm going to select this portrait mode for our document now, after selecting this one orientation of your page is finished size we have select orientation margin you know we have already completed oh, i'm going to zoom out a little bit let's put this one in 100 now next is using format painter look here did you remember i have made this bold italic and underline and this one i have changed into a color one so i'm going to make this one i'll take out this tape align the document here also same thing i'll align this one in same as other select all and I'll keep it as 1.5 now our document is before same as before now using this format painter after creating a format whatever you want let's make a format I'm going to change this face let's make this one or Or let's make like this. After changing the format, let's change the color also. After making a format of your own design, changing the font style, font face, font color, and size, I didn't change. After changing or designing the format let's say you have to copy paste here this whole paragraph so without searching the phone 
face name or color or any other else the one which you have already designed you can just copy that format and paint it other also just select the cursor and keep it between the document and press this format painter and select the document where you want to paint it like this so it will automatically paint it the same format the one which you have selected earlier like this you can use this format painter after using this format painter option next one is drop cap the first letter let's say the first letter of this paragraph if I want to use drop cap go to insert tab after that after selecting the letter drop cap option you can select this drop cap option or you can just see like this in margin in drop how many lines did you want to drop so if you want to change that one you can go to this drop cap option drop and phones phone you can select this one also how many lines did you want to drop I have selected four line that's why in this T four line is being used like this you must have seen this type of design in textbook in your library or any magazine and all in newspaper also so like this if you want to use a drop cap in your paragraph you can use like this select your select your letter and go to the insert tab and go to text group and select drop cap option or just drop cap you can by default it will drop a two line or three line otherwise you can change it back also select this one none if you select none then it will four line you can make it as three line also like this and two line also two line also like this so this is drop cap with your own choice you can select like this with your requirement next one is tab setting in ms word you go to a new setting new page class 9 center a line now we have left a line here I have changed the font face and I have to set this tab setting go to this paragraph dialog box open this dialog box there is a tab option here click on this one and you can set a tab here by clicking on here in this ruler you can set a tab also let's see from 8 from 10 we have selected like this now if you go to paragraph option and go to tab option look here I have selected 10 like this you can select from there or here remove all clear all okay it's been removed so I'll set it from a dialog box again go to this paragraph dialog box opener small arrow and go to tab option you can type here 10 centimeter stop position 10 centimeter or stop position you can keep it as 15 15 and left align and let's keep this dot leather dotted line set 15 centimeters it's been set okay now let's see what are the changes name after typing name when I press tab look here the changes when I after typing name when I press tab it will stop at 15 just at 15 the one which I have set the tab now again address Again, I'll press tab. It'll stop at 15 with the ledger of dotted line. Like this, you can set with your own requirement. According to your needs, you can set a multiple tab. 
according to your needs you can set multiple tab and designs of the ledger and alignment of the tab with your choice you can select this one here in tab there are left tab center tab and right tab alignment option is there you can set with your needs in after going this paragraph group dialog box opener you can click on that one and you can change the setting if you want to delete also you can clear by selecting a particular tab if there is a multiple option i'll show you Four nine. Look here, this is the same dialog box which we have opened. Look here, they have used a multiple tab for this one. So if you want this multiple tab. They have not used any ledger. It's none for typing this one student result name roll number class section by using tab. It's going to that is the stop position. When you press this tab to stop in this position, this is right tab, left tab, center tab, center tab, right tab, decimal tab, center tab. Like this, we are going to use a multiple tab. And another one is if you are going to delete or clear a particular tab, if you have multiple tabs, you can select that particular tab and clear. If you want to delete all, you can select this clear all and press OK. If you are going to add a new tab, then like that, you can give the position here and press that set button. Now, next topic is adding border and setting to all documents. Adding border and setting to all document. Okay, let's keep this okay. Now, for adding border and setting, if I want to keep this class and name address, if I want to add a border, then we are going to use this border and setting, and we are We'll go to this insert tab. Offset border. Like this, you can give a border. After selecting the document, the requirement document. If you are going to give out here, select the document outside border. I guess you can give border and setting. Now I am going to tell you what are the changes that we can do. Go to this border and setting option. I'm going to tell you again after selecting the document go to this border and setting option there are different type of borders line style there are different type of lines you can select any one and you can put the shadow 3d custom design and all and a wide of the line also you can change it from here and okay now it will change the border of your document Like this, with our needs, we can change the border. If you want to put a single line at the end of this paragraph, select your paragraph, go to the border and setting, bottom of the line. Like this, you can keep at the end of this line, at the end of this paragraph, if you want to keep this bottom line, you can select like this. If you want to change this one, design, go to this border and setting option. You can change the design according to your needs. Select this one. 
okay. No. If you if you want to remove this one again, select this by clicking on that one. You can remove that. No border. I guess you can select deselect again. If you want to remove this, you can again deselect from here. No border or go to the border and setting option. Border option. This is for paste border and you can select this none like this you can remove the border of the document if you want to set up the page border go to the border and setting option page border you can select this one okay this will put page border if you want to remove it again go to the border and setting option page border no option According to your needs, you can select any style of the line from here and you can set a color also, color of the line and weight of the line or it may be art from here. Let's select this one, okay. Look here like this, you can change according to your needs. According to your requirement, you can set it from here. So this is about border and setting. Let's set setting here. Yeah. This is the setting. If you like, if I want to set a particular page border. Okay. If I want to set a particular paragraph, select that particular paragraph, go to that border in setting, go to the setting field fill color select your color pattern size 5% if you want to put a pattern if you don't want to put a pattern clear pattern okay this is the setting and if you want to remove or if you want to add again a pattern go to that same option and you can you can add a pattern also 5% or 10% okay, look here this is the pattern dotted line dotted pattern so there are different type of pattern you can select that one also okay so this is all about border and setting adding border to a particular paragraph or line and adding border to our page and setting of a particular paragraph or a particular portion the one which we have selected and setting a whole page and all next one is bullets and numbering if we are going to use bullets and numbering in our document, how we are going to use this one? This one we have already done in smaller classes. These are bullets and these are numbering. To do list. If I want to make a to do list here, I don't want to name it as a one, two, three. You can select from here the pre design or which you have, they have already mentioned A, B, C, D. Or one, two, three. Let me sell, uh, remove this step. One to do. Ship. Plain. Any list. I'm making it out. School like that. If you want a custom numbering, then select it. Room number one, like this. If you want a custom numbering, like room or question or 
maybe class you can set it like this go to this define new format and you can change it you can type your requirement over there let me select this one room number and if i don't want this numbering i can select this none also and if i want this pre-designed one i can select it from here a b c d and all Now next is if I'm making a question like this, how did I make this one? Go to this option, define new number format, and I have put only Q over there. So that is why it's come like when you press automatically, it will come for question number four like this automatically. If you want to use this numbering A B C D and all, it's same thing with this numbering. And if you want to bullet, if you want to use bullet. You can change it from here and if you want to set a particular number starting number you can set it from here set numbering value start from 5 look here it will start from 5 if you select from here it's already been set Set numbering value start from 5, then it will, our question number will start from 5, 6, 7, like that. So if you are typing starting from a half of the numbering, then you can set like this also. Question number will start from question number 5 if you select that value from 5. So if you want to change this one in bullets, then you can select this bullets and with your choice, you can select any one like this. If you want to select a new bullet, define new bullet, go to symbol or picture from here. This is the symbol that we have. If you have your choice from here, then you can select from here. And if you don't have, then you can select from wibbling and wedding also. with bling and wedding let me select this one okay okay look here like this like this you can define a new bullets and numbering here by using this bullets and numbering it will be more distinct to write point wise and point by point So what we have learned in this bullets and numbering, we have learned uh, removing a bullet list, changing the bullet list, and defining a new bullets. And in numbering, we have learned to set a new value from starting position, and how to create a new numbering format using this numbering. If you are going to type a question or room number like that, we are going to define a new format here define new number format and if you go if you want to change list also you can change it from here and if you want to select a new bullet from symbols and all you can select it from here and you can set a picture bullet also you have to select this new bullet and you have to select this picture and you have to select it from your computer defining new bullets and pictures using pictures in our bullets now and i have already shown you how to remove a uh, defined number list from here the room number and all i have already deleted from here remove from our library this we usually use is question number one and two that's why i have kept this one the one which i have demonstrate using room number one and two i have already deleted that one clicking on this one and you have to press this remove button 
Next topic is header and footer. I think it's in the second part, objective number two. This is bullets and numbering. Defining a new bullet. Same thing that we have the I have demonstrated that one. Next one is header and footer. This year, header and footer. Now we are going to start this header and footer. Header and footer are very important part of a document. If we are if we are having multiple pages, that means page number from starting from one to hundred, it may be, or maybe one to two hundred, one to ninety, like that. If we have multiple pages and we have to make the same special design to paste it at the top of the pages or at the bottom of the page, like logo, pictures, and page number and title of the document, like author name and everything and all. So if you want to such, uh, if you want to add such kind of uh, important information in your document, then you can use this header and footer, and it will make easier to paste it in your all the document. So let's see. Before starting header and footer, let me remove this piece. Let me remove this page border and all. Let me clear out. So we have we have page two pages. For adding header and footer, go to insert tab and go to header. If you click on this header with the small arrow button at the bottom, you will see some different type of header which are found in your Microsoft Word, which are pre-designed from it in your Microsoft Word. You can select any of your choice or if you select blank, then you can design your own design uh, header also. So for now, let me select a pre-designed one. Okay. Okay, let me select this one. Author name, it's already added automatically. You can change this one with your choice also. Computer, demo, demo class. Now, if you want to exit from header, you can change uh, you can click on this close header and footer it will remove if you it will exit from your header and footer now go to this print option you can see how your page is going to how and uh, your header is going to print in your paper like this you it's going to print in your paper once you design in a first page it will print in every of the pages the one which you are having at the bottom means if you design in this page number one, it will print in page number two, three, four, like that. Let me take another page, page number three, which already printed the design which I have already made. So let me change in page number three. For editing, go to insert header, and for editing header, go to edit header. If you want to add a line over here, then insert. Shape and share the line over here. Okay, this is not straight line. If you want to make a straight line without releasing the left mouse button, press shift key, it'll make a straight line and release your mouse button and release now you can release your shift button also. It will make a straight line. So this is the header which I have changed. So I want to exit from header and footer now. The design I have added the line in page number three. Let's see on page number two. Line is already there in page number one also. Line line is already there. So if you are doing this for like hundred pages or two hundred pages, 
once you have changed in a single page it will change in all the all of the pages so it will save time by using this header and footer features for ms word you can save time in designing your title of the page maybe logo or maybe pictures or anything so i'll tell you a shortcut if you want to enter a, a, a header or if you want to edit header you can just directly double click over the header like this and if you want to add a picture insert picture you can add a picture from here select a picture from here and you can paste it over here logo or it may be photo also so with your requirement you can select this one or design this header and footer you can add a page number in header and footer also there is an option over here look here page number one like that so there are many options the design you can choose it from here the design which i have been chosen there is no page number over here if you write a page number here in header page number one if you write page number one like this if you want to exit from header then without pressing this close header and footer you can directly double click over your document area like this so if you write page number one like this it will print page number one in each and every pages look here in page number three look here page number two or three you select this one page number three or three this is page number three and we are in page number three here also it's been type as page number one this is not the correct format so if you want to change it look here you can write page Or let's select a blank one. A bit of demo class. Page number and from here insert select this page number option and top of the pages you can select this one on top of the pages if you want to add the page number you can select from here uh, middle and all and design you can select from here the, these are the pre-designed format and bottom of the page in the footer area it will print your page number page margin if you want to put it in the margin look here and current position means the one where which I kept the cursor here look here the cursor I have kept here in front of the page you can paste it here current position the one which I have put my cursor over there so current position and now I'm going to select the page number which design I want to put so let's put another one a simple one Page three. Therefore, they added their own page. Let's exit from header. Look here in page number two. Automatically, it will number your page according to your page number two. In page number one, it will automatically set your page number if we use this page number. Now let's go to footer. Header is going to print in the top of the page and footer is going to print at the bottom of the page. If you want to make a design footer, go to footer and let's select 
new one computer demo class computer demo class and i'm just sending or you can change this one as delete exit from footer look here page number 3 and this is the footer it's going to print in all of my pages that is page number 1 to 3 ok in page number 1 page number 2 and page number 3 it's already printed this is page number 1 footer is already there and this is page number 2 footer is already there so if you want to make a design of company logo or picture document title and if you want to put a logo picture or heading in each of the pages then it's better to use this header and footer at the bottom if you want to print it at the bottom of the page then you are going to use this footer and if you want to paste, uh, use it in the top of the page then you are going to use this header and better to use this page number beside the header and footer it's automatically print the page number according to your page number if you manually put the number then it's going to print the same number in each and every pages so i have uh, demonstrate how to exit from header and footer and how to edit header and footer and how to use this page number and there are multiple design format which we can insert this page number look here there are different type of design these are the pre-format design which we can put in our pages in header and footer next is adding or inserting date and time in your document Place the cursor where you want to add date and time and click on this insert tab and select this date and time option. Here when I hover my mouse it's already in, uh, mentioned look here insert date and time quickly add the current date and time date or time. Let's select here you can select it from here the choice which format you want to add. Thursday this is a long one 12 August which format you want to put so let me select any let me select this one or the short one look here they have added automatically or let me put in a footer insert that in time Okay, I've inserted in footer. Look here, it's included in every each and every page. Each and every page of my footer, like this date and time. And if you want to insert this date and time in your document, you can insert by clicking on this date and time option now inserting a special symbol or character into your document now if you are typing a match question or maybe anything if you want to insert a special symbol between your document now here phone number phone we have already done tap here in this phone number if you want to add a symbol of phone number go to insert tab go to this symbol option insert symbol or character from here go to the here the characters or symbol which we have already here if you don't want 
look here after clicking that phone symbol it's automatically here or you can add here phone number now again i want to add a address another symbol here I don't find any symbol related symbol uh, with this address if you want to add other symbols go to this more symbols and there is a multiple symbol over here you can select from here insert close look here like this you can insert here name if i want to add other symbol you go to symbol more symbol and there is a web link and a wedding option wedding spider there are multiple symbols here look according to your needs you can let me select this one insert so according to your needs you can insert your requirement symbol here and there are mathematical symbol also here go to a simple symbol symbols you can directly type here symbol and plus minus into divide and all you can edit from here also and there are different type of symbols here you can edit from here select here and select cancel now so here comes the end of our chapter number 7. Thanks for watching.